time now to peek inside with Craig Heppel from the Olveston Real Estate. Good morning, Craig. Good morning, Andrew. How's things? Mate, things are uh, moving along nicely. Um, the winter, the winter uh, will cause quietness has come over us, but uh, that's very temporary. No problems. Okay, we're going to talk about the two big deal killers and how to avoid them. Uh, uh, how do we do that? Well, I'll start. Uh, there's a little bit of context to that, mate. So right. I'll, I'll, I'll go back a couple of steps. So the first mission I've got to make was, Andrew, I was wrong. But, mm-hmm. but there was a caveat. Earlier this week, I was interviewed by Sean Ford from The Advocate on whether or not the Reserve Bank would hike rates on Tuesday the 4th, just gone. Mm-hmm. And I believe they would. And I stated if they didn't, it'd only be a month or two before they did it again. So Mr. Co, uh, Mr. Low and Co, left rates alone on Tuesday, but I'm actually calling it a pause. So if you didn't get to see what I said about rates and their effect on the property market uh, in that advocate article, uh, please send me uh, an email, and I'll gladly forward you a copy. And that's Craig at AlvestonRealEstate.com. So in short. Uh, we're continuing in an even market, mm-hmm. just enough housing stock for just enough buyers. Property prices on the northwest coast have risen, on average, about 1% to 2% in the last 12 months. So, Craig, can I stop month, you there? Can I stop you yeah. there? Are people yeah. buying as well as selling? Oh, is course, it a balanced yeah. market? It is a balanced market, right. an even market. So if, if, uh, if uh, sellers have, are presenting a, a good property... At, a, at what you would consider good value, yep. they are attracting buyers. And right. Being done. Yep. So in this market, vendors and their agents, for that matter, need to listen to and observe buyer behaviours, trends and feedback very, very closely, especially when an offer is put forward by a buyer. So that, that alludes somewhat to your question there, mate. Right. So the risk for sellers and their agents is to allow one or both of the two biggest deal killers to influence the decision-making process if the seller's a fair income about selling. Right, yep. So these killers are, and it comes back to emotions. I've spoken a lot about this with Lee. Mm -hmm. And and these two emotions are pride and greed. Now, I get it. Selling selling a home is one of the biggest transactions you may ever undertake. Mm. But you as a seller want to see a fair or better return for the years of comfort and joy that home's given you, as well as what you may have put into it. However, the minute you decide to sell, and remember, if your motivation to sell is less than 7 out of 10, don't, you're stepping into the realms of a business transaction. Sadly, there's emotion involved, but we have to switch over to, to a business mindset. And thankfully, a good proportion of vendors are willing to listen to the market, especially when an offer hits the table. But sadly for some, and we discussed this in episode 16 and 17, emotions can take over and cloud your judgment, leading to missed opportunities or even a loss. Wow. Pride is the dominant factor in a property transaction. Uh, It usually occurs when the seller believes they have invested a serious amount of blood, sweat and tears into their home and should be rewarded, or there is a strong emotional attachment, such as having to raise the family there, or maybe selling for a past loved one. The expectation supported by the pride factor can inhibit the logical thought process when it comes, or it appears, a very good deal is being tabled. Right. So on to our second deal killer, greed. Now, it's such a strong word and considered one of the seven deadly sins. Mm-hmm. Now, we I've heard vendor say, well, I want X dollars for this place, and if they don't want to pay it, they can shove it. Why are people like this, Craig? Why, why are people like this when they want to sell property? Well, because it's such, it is such an, an emotional move, and it is the biggest transaction possibly in their lives. I totally get it. And, it. and it wells up a whole lot of, you know, we think we're acting logically, but emotion takes over. Right. So, Greed is knowing you want too much but not being prepared to compromise or negotiate. Greed almost always leads to the evaporation of goodwill, suspicion, and ultimately deals that are destined to be pronounced dead on arrival. Right. Mm. Greed's, the, greed's the worst one you can, you can have. So the greed factor can appear on both sides of the fence. Sellers wanting too much and buyers wanting to pay too little. And that can depend on the type of market 
that prevails at that any given time. Right. So if you are selling or thinking about selling your home, here's a couple of tips to avoid killing off deals because of pride or greed. You ready, Andrew? Yep, go for it. Right, number one, be proud of your home and present it to impress buyers. But ensure you are fully aware that you are entering into a market to transact an asset. Yep. Number two, be prepared to hear buyer feedback, good, bad and indifferent, and have the flexibility to make reasonable changes or adjustments to encourage offers. I want everyone to remember, nothing happens in real estate without an offer. Right, yep. And number three, when an offer or offers hit the table, they and they don't quite match your expectations, count to ten, then enter into a calm, fact-finding discussion with your agent as to whether you reject, accept, or negotiate the deal in front of you. Ask questions and don't make assumptions. Well, i tell you what, it sounds pretty good. I mean, as you say, when people start to wanting to buy a home or sell a home, your emotions do get up because you're thinking, no, I've got to get the bank there, I've got to get this, I've got to get... Everything, yeah. everything goes from A to B to C to D. So it goes it along the line until it's finalised, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the linear course, but sadly emotions can send people off like a herd of cats. They can go all over the place. And thankfully... After 21 years as a professional agent and 14 years as a frontline cop, I understand that emotions can bubble up even when you are doing your best to hold them in check. My job is to help home sellers make the right decisions at the right time. Okay then, Craig, Alveston Real Estate, if people want to know more, how do they get in touch with you? Send us an email uh, to craig at alvestonrealestate.com or give me a call 0400 Five one five. Mate, we'll talk next week. Thanks, Andrew. Look forward to it, mate.